Hi y'all, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. This is something that I get asked about so much on Instagram, on YouTube. I get asked about this so much and it's about my piercings. I'm going to touch a little bit on the tattoos that I do have, but I'm not going to go into too much detail with those. I might just show you guys like the tattoos I have. Something that is often asked to me at least three to four times a week are about my nipple piercings and how do I put on makeup around my piercings. After you have a you know, a piercing for so many years, it's healed and you can put makeup around it, you can put skincare around it, and it's not going to irritate them. I don't suggest directly putting makeup onto your piercings because there can be a point where, you know, your piercing can get irritated from it, so I do suggest being careful and kind of going around them. But I guess I'll just start off by saying how many piercings I have. I have 11 piercings total. I've got my um, ears stretched and they are stretched to a half inch. So um, it goes from like most people's regular earring size is like a 14 gauge, which is just a normal earring, and then it goes up to 12, 10, 8, 6 gauge, 4 gauge, 2 gauge, 0 gauge, double zero, 7 sixteenths, and half inch. I have my cheeks pierced, so that's 4, uh, my lip, 5, I have my nipples pierced, 7, I have my top and my bottom belly button pierced, so let me just show you. And there's my tattoo that I have as well. It's a cherry blossom tree. It's on my side. And then my belly. And then I have my conch pierced twice. So I have this hoop and then I've got like this little one in there as well. And they're just pierced right next to each other. And the reason why I have this little stud in there is because I used to have two hoops, but the hoop fell out. I lost it. So I just put what I had in there, which was a belly button ring. So, you know, it works. Those are all of the piercings that I have. I used to have spider bites, so some people always will tell me that my lipstick's messed up on the side there, or it's all janky. Well, if you look closely, you can see those two holes. Spider bites are two lip piercings next to each, next to each other, so it was just normal lip piercings right next to each other. And I had those, I got those done when I was like 15, and I had them up until I got my cheeks pierced, and that was when I was... 20 and I'm turning 24 this year. I've never had my nose pierced. I've never had my tongue pierced um, I've had my belly button pierced on three different occasions I got it done first when I was like 13 years old and it rejected because I didn't know how to take care of it And the person who pierced it pierced it too shallow I think and it just rejected So that means that it just kept coming to the surface because it's a surface piercing um and it just rejected the skin and came through the skin basically, which sounds really gross. It, it was gross. And then the second time I got it pierced, it was fine for a couple of years, but I was, I worked at a, um, tattoo and piercing shop and I kept leaning over cases and my, I had a dangly belly button and this is just when I had the top done. I didn't have the bottom done, but I had a really dangly belly button piercing, um, or piece of jewelry and it kept getting caught in cases and it eventually ripped. You can kind of see a scar there, but it basically ripped the skin in half. And um, I had to wait for it to heal. While it was healing, I got my bottom belly button pierced because I didn't, I was too impatient and I wanted my freaking belly button pierced. That's what happened then. And then once, you know, the top one healed, I went ahead and got that one pierced. But I've had both of those for like three years now and they're pretty good. My lip, I got done. I had my cheeks done for like a year or two and I just kind of wanted something in the middle of my face. So I got my lip done, which I think is really cute. I didn't want anything that would mess with my teeth. So I wanted something that was on the surface, and so I got this lip done, this lip piercing done, and this one's called an angel kiss. That's what it's referred to, or a vertical labre is what it's usually referred to, because the normal labre piercing is just the one in the center that goes to the back of your lip, and it's like in your mouth, and I just didn't want that. I didn't want it to interfere with my teeth at all. Um, and then my nipples, <laughs> my nipples were the worst piercing I've ever had, and I've heard so many numerous things from different people, but like the nipples for me were like insane pain like they hurt so bad and I just got them both done at the same time like one after the other healing was nothing that night was nothing I could put a bra on it was no big deal I was fine but like getting them done and for my conch piercing super easy they just kind of get irritated sometimes I am thinking of switching this to a stud soon because I sleep on the side a lot and it gets irritated but I've had these for almost two years now too 
And then my um, plugs, I started gauging my ears when I was 17, and I got to a half inch by the time I was like 19, I do believe. So I haven't stretched them in quite a few years, and I like them. Sometimes I wish I could wear normal earrings, so I've considered getting like a second hole pierced up here just to be able to like wear studs and stuff. Like as you can see, I put little hoops through the bottom part here, but I mean, they're and I can take them out. They get really dirty really easy. It's kind of gross. I take them out every time I shower. And then, yeah, I can stick my finger through. Hi. So many people think that's gross. <laughs> Whatever. I want to talk about my cheek piercings. This is like the number one reason I'm making this whole video is about my dimple piercings and my cheek piercings. Some people really don't like them. They don't like the way they look, and that's okay. I think they're adorable. I do not think they look good on every single person. There are people that I have seen and I don't think they look very cute on them. Um, no offense, I'm not trying to like talk shit or anything. I love my dimple piercings. If I ever had to take them out, I would probably cry. I would probably ball my freaking eyes out. I've had them, like I said, I got them done when I was about 20 years old. Uh, and I took my spider bites out for them. I did not have this piercing on my lip. It was kind of a spur of the moment thing. So I decided to get them done. I just thought they were so cute. I had seen them on some girls. I had seen some pictures. I thought they were really, really cute. So I was like, hmm, let's get them done. I had to call so many shops. A lot of shops wouldn't do them. A lot of shops wanted to set up prior appointments um, to talk about getting them done first before actually getting the piercings themselves. The reason being is cheek piercings are one of the most difficult piercings to have, to take care of, to let them heal, to get done. They are just super difficult. They are high maintenance and if you're looking to get some cute piercings but you don't want to take much care of them or you're just not a high maintenance kind of person, I don't suggest getting simple piercings. If you're not a patient person, I don't suggest getting dimple piercings. If you're going to take them out soon, if you're a person who takes your piercings out, I don't suggest getting them done. They give you dimples. I did not have dimples before I got these pierced, so they did not go. I didn't pierce them in my dimples. They gave me the dimples. And a lot of people want to get dimple piercings for that reason, just to get the dimples, and then they'll want to take the piercings out. These are 14 gauge piercings. They're not tiny little piercings. They are thick piercings. They're going to leave a scar or a hole in your face after you get them pierced. It doesn't matter if you only have them done for three weeks, you're going to take them out and you're going to have a scar in your face. And you just did that to have dimples. I think you should get dimple piercings if you think the jewelry in them is cute and if you think they look cute and you, if you genuinely want to get them done, go get them done. I'm all for it. It's just you should really, really <laughs> think about them because they are a commitment. When I first got them done, you don't get to have cute little petite jewelry in them like this. You have to have long bars. And I mean, my bars were like poking out of my face like this when I first got them done. I believe they were an inch and a half long. So that's like that long in my freaking face. And I was in beauty school at the time that I got them done, so I was walking around looking like a crazy person. I had to keep them that long. Most piercings, when you first get them done, this is just a general thing, usually. Some piercings are different. Um, but when you first get piercings done, you need to leave the jewelry in for about two weeks before changing them to a different kind of jewelry. Um, so I had those really, really long ones in for two weeks, and then he shortened them just a little bit. Not a lot, but just a little bit. Um, and I had that, those in for probably like a month or something, and then I got them just a little bit shorter. They were still poking out of my face a little bit. Not too much, but they looked like that all the time. When I sucked my cheeks in, they looked like that. They were poking out all the time. And then it was about maybe like a year and a half of having, maybe like a year of having the cheek piercings that I actually went down to this size and this is a size that I've been at for the past three years. You don't get to have them cued at first. They are difficult. You have to be patient and if you're not patient well you run the risk of infection or them getting messed up and not looking cute and you having to take them out. So they are something that you really have to 
be committed to and be patient with. They do go through my whole cheek. They go onto the inside of my mouth. They do brush against my teeth, especially when I tuck. I really don't notice them most of the time. I've had them for so long that I just kind of... I just really don't notice them that much anymore. I'm pretty proud of them because I really did take care of them. I still take great care of them. They are my favorites. I just think they're so cute and I love them with my cheeks. When I first got them done, I would leave like a little part around them and I would not put makeup around like directly towards them. I would leave them alone um, and that was during the healing process, but now I put makeup around them. This one is fine like all the time. Like I have never ever had a problem with this one. This one gets irritated from time to time. It has gotten full of pus and blood. After having it done for like two years, there is one time that it got like that and I had to put a really long barbell in there and let it like kind of do its thing and I had to like soak it in Epsom salt and do all kinds of stuff just because it got really irritated. And it's happened maybe two times after that, not as intensely as the first time, but it's definitely happened after that where it's just gotten like irritated. I don't know what it's from. I don't know if it's just in a spot, maybe that's like got some tendons, there's some nerves there or something where it just gets irritated. I don't know if it's from the makeup. I don't know what it's from. Sometimes a zit grows like right on top of it right here and it pops and then that's usually when the irritation starts. So to me, I feel like it's just from a zit or a pimple being on top of that spot. I really don't know. People tell me all the time, oh, it's from all your makeup, but like I honestly don't think so because I clean the makeup off of them very well. I clean the piercings themselves. I don't put makeup directly in them. I just put it around, but I wear makeup every single day. And it, this has only gotten irritated like three times, I think. So they're not for everyone. Not everyone likes them. Not everyone likes piercings, but you know what? It's my face. It's what I wanted to do. And I am so happy with them. I'm happy I ever did it. It cost me $60 to get them done. I wear stainless steel jewelry in all of my piercings. I am allergic to nickel. I have eczema. Stainless steel is what I found that works the best, or titanium. Titanium is a great type of jewelry for piercings as well. I don't suggest getting jewelry from like Hot Topic, places like that, because it's not the best. I suggest going to an actual piercing shop and making sure it's like stainless steel or titanium to put in there. I'm not a piercer. I worked at a shop um, it was a tattoo and piercing shop and a head shop, and if you know what that is, cool. If you don't, look it up. It was one mixed together. They were called Freakies, and I worked there for two years. I was assistant manager there, so I was around a lot of people getting piercings all the time. So I just kind of picked up some things, but I'm not a pro. I'm not a professional. I'm not a piercer. If you have problems with your piercings, go ask your piercer. Go to the doctor. I don't give a shit what you do. Don't ask me because I don't know. I just wanted to give you guys a little rundown of my piercings and kind of talk about it a little bit because I do get asked about them a lot. Yeah, I just think it's something good to kind of talk about because I know I'm not the usual beauty guru on social media. You know, um, I am a little bit different looking and I do have a lot of piercings, unusual piercings that a lot of them don't have. So I do get the questions a lot of... Oh, I want to get dimple piercings. What do you think? How did the healing time go? How do you wear makeup around them? I'm going to tell you the truth. They're hard. They're difficult to maintain. They're high maintenance. And they're not cute at first. But if you really want them and you genuinely have thought about it and you think they're cute and you want them, go for it. By all means, go for it. Just know it takes a lot of patience. And I, like I said, I love mine more than anything in the world. I love them. They're my favorite piercings I've ever had. They're so cute. I just love them on my face. I have big cheeks and I feel like it just really ties it all together. So as far as my tattoos go, I showed you my cherry blossom tree and then I have and then I have this um, tattoo. It's a Harley Quinn tattoo. It says rotten. Um, as most of you know, I'm sure she has rotten written on her face on this side, I think. And obviously I'm not going to get a face tattoo because I love Harley Quinn so much. I mean, I considered it. But, so I got this one on my arm. I wanted to incorporate the original Harley Quinn in there with it, so that's why I did it red and black. And then I did the half red and black diamond and the half red and black heart. And I love it. I do need to get touched up a little bit, but it, it's beautiful. It's so cute. And I wanted it somewhere visible. That's why I got it there. And then I have a peace sign and a heart on my hip, which I'm not going to show you because it's kind of really far down on my hip. And then I have a spider and a spider web on the back of my neck that I'll show you real quick. 
I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but it's right there. And it has a number 13 in the middle of the spider web as well. Because I got it on Friday the 13th and um, Andy has a matching one. And for anyone who like wants to freak out because we have matching tattoos, Andy and I have been together for eight years. This month is actually our eight year anniversary, so please don't freak out. It's just a freaking spider on a spider web. I hope this kind of answered some questions for you guys. Summertime is not the best time to get piercings done because you can't go swimming for like a month after getting them, most of them done, like your belly button and stuff. So if you want to get piercings done, I think winter is the best time to do it. And they are a big commitment, especially facial ones. Especially facial ones. You really want to think about getting facial ones because you're going to have a scar there forever. Scar scars don't go away from piercings. And most of the time, if you have a piercing for a long time, the, the holes don't even close up. Like, I could probably still put jewelry on my lip piercings, to be honest. And I've had them out for three over three years. They are just something to really, really think about, to really, really consider. I don't suggest going out there randomly and just getting one done. I really think you should think about it. I do want some more tattoos in the future. Um, piercings, I'm good on. I don't want any more piercings. I'm done with piercings. I'm so over working in the shop I just wanted to get piercings all the time and now it's just like oh my god no more I might get some stuff done on my ears but that's about it like nothing crazy um tattoos I want to get the black and red diamonds that Harley has in the Suicide Squad movie around her arm I want to do that around the rotten symbol and then I want to do a planchette like a Ouija board planchette on my sternum with some decorative stuff going around it and then I want to fix my cherry blossom tree a little bit as well there are things that I still want to do they're not my first priority, though. There are things that I want more in this world than tattoos and piercings right now, so... <laughs> if you guys have any questions, anything that I might have missed, or any other questions that you might have, please let me know. Like I said, I'm not a piercer. I can't answer all your questions. I don't know about certain healings with certain things. I don't know how everyone heals differently. When it comes to pain tolerance, please don't freaking ask me if they hurt, because everyone's pain tolerance is different, and for me, my cheek piercings were a breeze. Like, I love getting piercings. Like, I love it. I love the anxiousness you get. I love getting them done. Um, but take in mind, I'm also a diabetic, and I give myself shots with needles five times a day. So I'm used to needles. I'm not scared of them. They don't scare me. So everyone's pain tolerance is different. I hate when people ask me, did they hurt? Because that is just, like, the dumbest. I'm sorry, it's the dumbest question ever. There's no such thing as a dumb question, but that's a dumb question because everyone's different. So just take that into consideration. Please don't ask me if they hurt because I'm going to tell you no. And then you're going to get done and then it's going to hurt. And you're going to be like, what the hell? This chick is crazy. And a little bit. If you're having problems with your piercings or they're getting irritated or whatever's going on with them, please go to your piercer and ask them about it or go to the doctor if it's something very severe. If the piercer tells you to go to the doctor, go to the doctor. I would just go in and show the piercer and talk to them, them about it and they'll know more about it. I am not a piercer. Don't ask me your healing questions or problems that you're having with your piercings. I can't answer those. I'm sorry. I just have piercings. I don't know how to do them or anything. So I just wanted to kind of lightly touch up on that and talk to y'all about it. And if there's any more kind of like talk about videos you want to hear about, let me know in the description box or on my Instagram um, and I'll start making those because... I kind of like just talking to you guys sometimes about things and this is just something I kind of wanted to address because it's a very common question I get asked on Instagram. Like, one of the most common <laughs> questions. Or I get people talking a lot of shit about my piercings, telling me to take my piercings out for makeup looks. I get that all the time. I get it so much that it just drives me absolutely insane. Telling me that I look stupid with my piercings, that I look ugly, cheek piercings are ugly, they don't look good on anybody. I look cute with cheek piercings. I don't care what anybody says. So cute. Sorry. I get a lot of hate on them as well. And for me, like, I'm never going to take my piercings out just to take pictures or, you know, just for looks because there's just going to be a big gaping hole there and you're going to see them. And then they have the chance of closing up a little bit as well. Like, not all piercings will, will stay open. Some of them can close up. And I'm not going to run that risk. But it's just something I get told a lot on social media. <sighs> hey, what do you do? I chose to look crazy and have piercings in my face, so what do what can I really expect, you know? So let me know of any other questions that I might have missed. 
And thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it more than anything in the world. And I love you all so, so much. Bye, guys.